Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to Portal 2. Now that we've fallen all the way down here, let's just go through here. Luckily these things move out of the way for us just a little bit. See different cubes falling into the, the incinerator. But let's just keep going through here. And down here is... Another portal gun. Good. You have a dual portal device. There should be a way back to the testing area up ahead. So now we need to go this way. <clears throat> also, this place should look a little bit familiar to us. Just this room here. Testing starts. I'm required by protocol. And also further in here. With you to a minimum. Luckily, we haven't started testing yet. This will be our only chance to talk. Here. Let me get that for you. Do you know the biggest lesson I learned from what you did? I discovered I have a sort of black box quick save feature. In the event of a catastrophic failure, the last two minutes of my life are preserved for analysis. I was able, well, forced really, to relive you killing me again and again, forever. You know, if you'd done that to somebody else, they might devote their existence to exacting revenge. Luckily, I'm a bigger person than that. I'm happy to put this all behind us and get back to work. After all, we've got a lot to do, and only 60 more years to do it. More or less. I don't have the actuarial tables in front of me. But this is the last test in the test chambers of Portal 1. And that room where we got the portal gun is the, the room where we're gonna get killed, but we didn't and we're here now, and we're, it's so cool because it's test no, test chamber nineteen. Anyway. I'll just move that out of the way for you. This place will oh, thank you, Gladys. Back. But the important thing is you're back with me, and now I'm on to all your little tricks. So there's nothing to stop us from testing for the rest of your life. After that. Oh boy. I might take up a hobby, reanimating the dead, maybe. Well, Gladys is certainly happy to see us again. Sorry about the mess. I've really let the place go since you killed me. By the way, thanks for that. Sarcasm self-test complete. Oh good, that's back online. I'll start getting everything else working while you perform this first simple test, which involves deadly lasers and how test subjects react when locked in a room with deadly lasers. Um, did we get... Oh, I think this is a, a new place, but also it has the the energy orbs from Portal 1 in here, but then they've been replaced with this. This is a new form of activation switches. So, we need to put the connect the portals with the laser going through. It, it's basically the energy orbs, but you have to keep it constantly going through, basically. Uh, which means that we can also activate and deactivate these switches by doing this, so... Not bad. I forgot how good you are at this. You should pace yourself, though. We have a lot of tests to do. Glass is also fixing up the test chambers. The whole aperture laboratories. I like how everything looks just so fresh in this game. This next test involves discouragement redirection cubes. I just finished building them before you had your, well, episode. So now we'll both get to see how they work. There should be one in the corner. It's having a bit of trouble there. It's okay. Ah, uh, but we have lasers again. But we can't place a portal there. So we need to do something else, which is using this cube here, which we've seen actually one of these earlier. I just didn't point it out because, you know, don't want to break everything. But these, basically, if we put them into the stream of a laser, it means we can actually redirect the laser wherever I want it, basically. Which, in this case, is to the laser thing over there to activate this platform. 
But anyway. Must be a little bit complicated trying to fix up everything. Uh, but now we need to also take the cube with us, which I guess that was a mistake to do it like that. Also, I fell. Good job, me. Uh, but anyway, let's just do that to make things a little bit simpler for myself. I could have just put it underneath it. You are a horrible person. Oh. A horrible person. We weren't even testing for that. Wow. Gladys is, um, a little bit, yeah, just very, just slightly mad at me for killing her and all that, but, I mean, I br basically brought her back to life. And we're testing again. It's, we're, we're friends. We're friends. Friends. Right. Yes. Friends. Don't yes. Don't let that horrible person thing discourage you. It's just a data point. If it makes you feel any better... Science has now validated your birth mother's decision to abandon you on a doorstep. Oh. Oh. Well, I guess we... Yeah. We both tried to kill each other, so... We're, e we're even now. Ah, uh, but anyway... We don't have to destroy any of the cameras, but I'm doing it anyway just because... It's far too entertaining. This place is getting fixed up... Rapidly. Let's go through here. Um, need to get the thing over there. Uh, we have two lasers that open the door. Uh, but let's do that. So we can end up... Nope, that's not what I was trying to do. That's fine. Just need to go up there and fix that up. So let's aim that over there at that. Also, is that just a hole in the wall? Oh, it is. I haven't seen this before. Sucker's luck. Too many... Variables. I have not seen this before. This is interesting. I don't know what I'm looking at right now. Don't even try. Where's that music coming from? Oh, there's a radio here! What? This is cool. Exile. This is actually really cool that you can even be here at all. Uh, anyway, we need to probably head back up there. If I can manage that. Some of the walls and floors aren't working as, as they should be. Uh, let's put that there and that there. And good. Most people emerge from suspension terribly undernourished. I want to congratulate you on beating the odds and somehow managing to pack on a few pounds. Wow. Wow, you calling me fat? How dare you? I mean, I have been in stasis for a long time, but I, I don't know how I survived that long. Guess Wheatley wasn't joking when he was uh, calling all the test subjects potatoes. 10,000 pota potatoes specifically. Oh, there he goes. Oh, what's happening? You are navigating these test chambers faster than I can build them. So feel free oh. to slow down and do whatever it is you do when you're not destroying this facility. Okay, I can do that. Can I fit in here? No, I can't. That's a shame. Well, these walls are on an angle? Am I crazy or is that just a... I think I'm just crazy anyway. Let's head down here. Why isn't there stairs there or something? Oh, wow. Also, I love how the, these panels like this in this game on like every surface. It's so cool. It just yeah, I just can't say any anything more than just it's cool because that's just the the peak. It's just so cool. Uh, now I need to put a blue portal there. Nope, not quite. Hang on, because there's that there, and if I put the portal there and the blue portal there. Also press this button here to give myself a cube, and we can go onto this platform here that's moving because of the laser that I moved around. And now let's just go across this like that. We we'll jump over that. There we go. I was that was, that was pretty quick on that puzzle. I don't I don't know what you're complaining about. Looks like all the stuff in the. Elevators are going by faster, at least. Can cleaned out. 
seems a little bit crazy that one robot could just control this much area and somehow clean it up and fix it, make it look better. Do 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 do. Well, there goes all that. Now, to what do we have here? Buttons, cubes, cubes on the button, and uh, a squid launcher. Also, water group again. I don't think I pointed that out. It was part of an initiative to investigate how well test subjects could solve problems when they were catapulted into space. The solvers were highly, highly informative. They could not. Good luck. This... Look at that wall. Look how smooth that wall is. Also, hang on. Get rid of that. I don't think there's any surfaces that we can use over here to get anywhere. Also, I see that up there. I see that up there. Ah, uh, but anyway, these... Platforms on the ground here. If we uh, stand on it, it will launch us. Can I reach up there? No, that's not open. That's a shame. But anyway, what I really need to do is go over here. I don't know why you've bothered to put in offices to watch nothing. Um, but anyway, there's a lot of stuff on the ceiling. I'm, tr I'm trying to look out for secrets, but I don't know if there are any. Uh, but anyway, let's press this button. That spawns in a cube in the middle, which will just keep jumping up and down there. So we need to catch that in midair. Also, there's a little bit of music, I guess, whenever you launch yourself, which is pretty cool. Grab that, and we're good. It's pretty cool. Here's an interesting fact. You're not breathing real air. It's too expensive to pump this far down. We just take carbon dioxide out of a room, freshen it up a little, and pump it back in. So you'll be breathing the same room full of air for the rest of your life. I thought that was oh. interesting. I guess that's one way to do it. I love the progression of you, the overgrown to rebuilding to newer looking tests. It's so cool. Let's see what the next test is. Oh. Advanced aerial faith plates. Well, have fun soaring through the air without a care in the world. I have to go to the wing that was made entirely of glass and pick up 15 acres of broken glass by myself. Oh, <sighs> that doesn't sound like fun. Uh, but anyway. I'm sure the stuff falling from the ceiling is fine. Uh, but anyway, let's just quickly do a few things before we move on. I love how huge these test chambers are. Anyway, we can also press down the middle mouse to zoom in, which I've been doing on a few things. Okay, let's launch. We could also do this as we're going, if we really wanted to. But we need to have the portals there and there. And that way we can, we can go all the way over here. And stop just like that. And now we need to do basically the same thing, but I think... I think there's a better way to do this where you do that. On the wall there, maybe. I hope. Uh, and then we press this button. Oh, sorry. I'm still cleaning out the test chambers. So sometimes there's still trash in them. Standing around, smelling and being useless. And there's a bunch of stuff going out. Oh. Oh. I think I lost what I was trying to grab. That's fine. Oh, I'm falling. There's a radio that comes out, and if you take it to uh, a room way over there, you can actually get a radio signal in there. I also need to actually get in there, though, if I wanted to see all the secrets. Uh, let me go back and see if I can actually get in there. Actually, I think what you're supposed to do, possibly, is place a portal there. And there. Which... I probably should have just done that with the items that were being thrown around then. Possibly? If this is what you're supposed to do. Yeah. Smooth jazz fails. Is 
Is that Hopey the Hope? Probably not. Ah, uh, but anyway. Pretty cool. Ah, uh, but we need to go... Somewhere else now. I don't know how to get out of here. Probably just go over there. But yeah, if you can take the radio up there, you can, you can actually get an achievement from that. Now, let's just... Get this thing that we need. You can also use the orb. Because it's heavy enough to weigh down the switch. But anyway, now that we've cleared out the chamber, there's an actual cube going through. Which we need to put on that button over there. Which we could possibly put it there manually, because I think there's a way back. Maybe there isn't. I don't know what you do if there isn't. Ah, uh, but anyway. Before, when I was talking about smelly garbage standing around being useless, you don't have to test with the garbage. It's garbage. Are you calling me garbage now? This is just offensive. I mean, it was already, but anyway. Did you know that people with guilty consciences are more easily startled by loud noises? Ah! I'm sorry. I don't know why that went off. Anyway, just an interesting hmm. fact. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. I wonder. Ah, <gasps> but look, it's our friend companion cube. Oh, did I accidentally fizzle that before you could complete the test? I'm sorry. You, 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 you destroyed my friend. You destroyed my friend. Oh, well, luckily, I guess you're gonna drop another one. <gasps> well, so you can hear them singing. Oh, anyway, let's put that. Oh, you. Well, we have warehouses full of the things. My companion. I'm happy to get rid of them. Okay, let's put that one there. Front of the laser. Cool. Good. Now it's set up here. Oh, I need to actually move the companion cube. There we go. Is this safe to stand on? It doesn't look safe to stand on. Anyway. <laughs> Have to test it out. Um, now. I think... I need to... Go places. So let's just quickly... Move the cube up here. And let's see... Where is that portal there? Let's jump into that. Bring ourselves over here. Put the cube on that. Now we need to do the same thing again, just without the cube, to get up here. Every test chamber is equipped with an emancipation grill at its exit, so that test subjects cannot smuggle test objects out of the test area. This one is broken. Don't take anything with you. Joke's on you, I'm taking the companion cube, because you can't fizzle it now. Hehehe, <laughs> it's all mine. My friend. I love you. They are sentient, of course. We just have a lot of them. I think you get an achievement for doing that as well. Anyway, my friend got fizzled. This next test mm. involves emancipation grills. Remember? I told you about them in the last test area that did not have one. Okay, so we now have to solve a puzzle with the grills inside of it as part of the test. That's really stepping up your game as part of the test. Oh, shaking, dust, settling, please. Turbines again. I have to go. Wait, this next test does require some explanation. Let me give okay, you cool. the last version. There, if you have any questions, just remember what I said in slow motion. <laughs> okay, I'll remember what you said in slow motion. That makes complete sense, and I'm not gonna forget anything. 
Uh, anyway, we need to get this cube over here, which is a laser redirection cube. And let's use this to aim at that there. And now we should be good to go through the portal, even though we don't really need to. I think that's everything here, probably. So let's keep moving on. Just remember everything I said in slow motion. Right. <laughs> let me in. Let me in. Oh, you won't let me. Anyway, got some lasers here. Oh. Okay. Replacing the panels on the wall. I approve. Look how slick those walls look. Oh my goodness. It's so good. I just want to test. just want to be here forever in portals and all that. But anyway, let's place a portal there and there. Let's go here. Oops. I, I am not that heavy. Okay, here we go. Did it again. Wow. <sighs> so many insults. You seem to have defeated its load-bearing capacity. Well done. <sighs> I'll just lower the ceiling. Well, I guess we're not talking to Wheatley then, although he was kind of talking to us while we were flying through the air, and it makes it very difficult to keep track of what he's saying. But anyway, we can do that now. Also, that's very trippy, changing direction like that. Uh, but anyway, now we need to do a few more things. Uh, which I believe is going to have to start off with that there. Except I probably should have changed. I probably should have done the other portal. Uh, but anyway, we need to use this aerial faith plate again. Ah! Right into the ceiling. Okay, like that. We can press that button. And now we need to put that there. We can also just go through it and make that just seamless transition. Just like that. And now we can grab this cube that was spawned in by the button. And now we can move the laser right at that wall, right there. So now we can put the portal there. And actually, no, I should probably do the other thing first. So let's jump through here and do that to get up here. And now we want to put a portal there. These insults just keep, keep getting stronger. <laughs> Anyway, we need to put a portal on both sides of that, and then we can have the laser go through the wall, basically. Which allows us to get out of here. Like an eagle piloting a blimp, how dare you. Anyway, these monitors are looking very well, except for that one. We're getting closer to a, a better looking test chamber. A much better looking test chamber, that is. Just, they're looking so much better. This game has so much personality, it's crazy. Where's that music coming from? Is that just part of the test? I'm I'm assuming it's just ambient. Uh, but also we're at 10 out of 22 tests. Wow. Oh. Also, look! The cube and the panel are playing together, I guess. It's playing with the cube. I'm sure that's normal. Uh, anyway, we need to get over there, so let's put that over there, and let's put a uh, portal down here while we're jumping down. Can I take that, please? 
Oh, oh thank you. Sorry. I, I know you're playing with it, but still. Um, now I need to go over there. Just like that. Now we get to fly. Whee! Oh, right into the wall. So let's put that in the way of that now. If I can, please. Okay, good. Just don't move. And now let's just quickly do that all again. Okay, now we're up here. Let's get a cube up here. Which I think is a laser redirection cube. So we need to take this down now. So we can replace this one. Uh, does this need to go? I think it needs to just go into the wall over there so I can portal it wherever we need to. Okay, and now let's take this cube with us. Okay. Good. Um, oh, well, I was almost right. Hang on. I need to portal there and portal there. That opens that up. And now, let's try this again. And that should take us to our goal. Just like that. Yeah, you passed the test. I didn't see the deer today. I did see some humans. But with you here, I've got more test subjects than I'll ever need. Oh, yeah, you do. You have one. More than you'll ever need. But humans? Also, the logo on the loading screen is looking fresh. Hard light bridges. Testing element. Whoa. Light. Okay. Bridges are made from natural light that I pump in from the surface. If you rubbed your cheek on one, it would be like standing outside with the sun shining on your face. It would also set your hair on fire, so don't actually do it. <laughs> Just do it set your hair on fire. Yeah, that seems like a bad thing to do. Also, we can make these light bridges go through portals somehow completely, even if they don't fit through. Ah, uh, but I mean, it's helpful for us because it means we can get around. But now we have portal, portal, portalable bridges, I guess. As long as we have the right stuff for it. Uh, but I need to do better than what I've just done. Because I need to put a portal over there. And press that. Where does that drop? Oh, there. Well, I think that's just going to keep dropping it now, luckily. So let's go over here and drop down. And then, make sure you're using the right portal, because if you use the wrong one, you have to, you just drop, basically. Uh, but anyway, let's grab that and head back through the portal now. Now we can do that properly. So we can actually keep this button pressed. Okay. Excellent. And now we're done here. And these tests are your prey. Fat. Speaking of Turret. Which, I was researching sharks for an upcoming test. Do you know who else murders people who are only trying to help them? Did you guess sharks? Because that's wrong. The correct answer is nobody. Nobody but you is that pointlessly cruel. <sighs> I mean, you tried to kill me, so me trying to kill you is... F I, I guess I succeeded, but I brought you back... To lie. I I don't know. I I, I, think, oh, I don't know. You you're kind of mad at me. I guess that's fair. Can't blame you. And you did have to relive me killing you over and over and over and over between then and now. So I yeah, that's that's probably fair. News. I figured out what to do with all the money I save recycling your one room full of air. When you die, I'm going to laminate your skeleton and pose you in the lobby. That way, future generations can learn from you how not to have your unfortunate bone structure. Wow. Anyway, I 
think that is it for now, so thank you all for watching. I'll see you all next time. First test chamber 12 out of 22.